Yo, if you're looking for any Ultimate Team coins or FIFA points, turn a team like this okay. into a team like this. Then go to playheart.com, there is a link down below, and if you use the code HABER, you get a cheeky little discount. Nice. Yo, what is up lads, and welcome to a review of the inform Lissandro Lopez. If you remember this guy from FIFA 13, he was one of the best players in FIFA 13, and he's back now in FIFA 15. And he's got an inform card, it's an 8 rated from Argentina, he's got 76 pace, 8 dribbling, 80 shooting, 75 physical, and 75 passing. 4 star skills and weak foot, a high, high work race, and in 5 games he's got me 6 goals, got me 1 assist, and he's already going for about 13,000 coins on the Xbox. 75 in-game strength with 85 stamina, 86 agility, and 83 balance. 81 finishing, 76 free kick accuracy, he's also got 76 long shots, 78 shot power, 78 short passing and 74 volleys, he's actually got really really good shooting in this game, he's right footed, he's 32 years old and he's 5 foot 9, with no specialities and the injury prone trait. This guy's in a really bad league, unfortunately, but he was one of the best cards in FIFA 13. If you remember him, he played for Olympic Lyon, and he was one of the best cards I've ever used in FIFA, and nothing much has changed. In, in reality, nothing has changed. He is still absolutely incredible, in my opinion. He's got a rocket of a shot. His pace doesn't feel that bad. Although it's not brilliant, and I do like better paced players, it doesn't feel that bad, and I actually rate his pace in this game. I think he's a pretty good pace player, and I actually rate his shooting as well. His left foot is just as good as his right foot, if not better. Well, probably not better, but he's still a very, very good left foot. I really like his left foot in this game. I think it's absolutely amazing. And honestly, if I was to tell you one player to buy that's from this league to match up with maybe Tevez, it'd have to be Lissandro Lopez. If you can match him up with someone like Tevez or someone a little bit faster, i definitely recommend him. He's one of the better players in the league and from the nation in the striker spot. Now, obviously, you've got people like Aguero, you've got Di Marie, you've got a few players you can use in striker, but this guy is a slow, cheaper option for those players. He's an inform, and he's actually a really decent player. And he, I think he's in the same league as... As Gignac. I think Gignac's a really good player as well. So he puts some pacey wingers down the side and you could have a really, really good team up there. Maybe playing with Iturbe on the right wing. That's who I played him with in 4-3-3 brackets 3. And I think he was a very good player. Personally though, he's not brilliant at making his own chances like running down the wing. Unless he's maybe 30 yards out and he takes a strike. He's not brilliant at making his own attacks and his own play. But if someone plays him in, maybe he's like 20-30 yards out, he can actually do really, really well. He's got a pretty decent dribbling and really, really good agility and balance which I really like because he does do really well getting around players because it's pretty easy to you know dip in and out of defenders when you've got really good agility and balance the combination does really really well and he stays on his feet quite a lot as well um the injury prone trait i don't think it does really much that to be honest um he didn't really get that many injuries and he played pretty pretty well um now, obviously, the only neg negatives I'd probably say was he doesn't really get into attacking positions brilliantly, and he's not really fast. So I'll give him an 8.6 out of 10. If you guys enjoyed this review, leave a like down below. Recommend me plays you want me to review next in the comment section down below, and I'll see you later.